Okay, so we now have official confirmation that Apple is working on iOS 18.0.1. This would be a minor software update for iOS 18 users to address a few bugs and issues after the release of iOS 18. Now, the confirmation comes from 9to5Mac and Mac rumors. They see activity of the software on their website analytics logs. And basically, when we start seeing this sort of activity on these websites, it means that Apple is actively working on this update and could be released here in just a couple of days. We'll talk about the expected release date. I want to talk about some of my personal issues with iOS 18 at the moment and what are some of the things that Apple could be addressing with 18.0.1. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is some of the issues that I've encountered using iPhone 16 Pro Max in iOS 18. And I want to start off with overheating issues. When I'm using GPS, I've seen this about three times now. My iPhone right there is a little bit warmer than expected. So, and you know, charging will resume when iPhone returns to normal temperature. That is the prompt that you see right there. And this has happened in my car three times when using GPS navigation on iOS 18 on iPhone 16 Pro Max. Other than that, I haven't seen these overheating issues on my device when charging normally. But again, while plugged in to charge using the GPS in my car, I've seen this three times. Now, I would like to know in those comments down below if you've had any overheating issues on any of the iPhones running iOS 18. Now, another issue that I've encountered has got to do with Control Center. So in Control Center, some of the elements would disappear randomly and I would have to tap into the element or the controls. It pops up and then it disappears again and sometimes it just continues to happen. Also, something really annoying is this hearing aid control continues to pop up every time I rearrange my control center as well. So yeah, minor bugs, but something that continues to happen on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. So now I want to go ahead and shift my attention over to some issues that appear to be a little more widespread and Apple could perhaps be addressing these with iOS 18.0.1. And I want to start off with the touchscreen. Some iPhone users continue to report unresponsiveness on their touchscreen. So if you encounter issues where you feel like you tap around the screen and you feel like your iPhone is not responding, you're not alone. Many iPhone users continue to report unresponsiveness touchscreen issues on iPhone 16 and 16 Pro, but also on older devices after updating to iOS 18. So hopefully we'll see Apple address some of these issues in regards to touchscreen issues on iOS 18. Now there's also a bug within messages that could cause a message data loss. So if someone was to share a watch face with you, so if someone sends you a watch face via messages and you respond to that message thread, it could cause your iPhone to constantly crash the messages application. And the only way to get it back up and running is to restore your device and some data may be lost. Obviously, Apple may want to resolve this issue sooner rather than later. So if someone sends you a watch face via message, don't reply to that specific message thread because it will cause your messages app to crash over and over. Now, believe it or not, the iPads with M4 still do not have the official iOS 18 update. Apple released the update and then later pulled the update and has not released iOS 18 yet for iPads with M4. So some of these iPads were completely bricked after updating to iOS 18 and it appears that iOS 18.0.1 could be the update to officially bring iOS 18 to M4 iPads. Keep in mind, the iPads with M4 still do not have an official iOS 18 update release as of the filming of this video, which is quite interesting. Now, in terms of release dates, every time we see Apple testing these sort of minor software bug fixes, updates for users, we start seeing those analytics on Mac Rumors and 9to5Mac. A few days later, we see the updates. So Apple could release at any moment now even Friday, September the 27th. So tomorrow we could see this update. If not at the latest, the first week of October, we should see iOS 18.0.1 to address these issues and some of these bugs that I just mentioned. Now, if you had any issues that I did not mention, I would like to know those in those comments down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.